What's up guys, welcome back to a new Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video. Today we'll be taking a look at the newest event, The Battle City Begins. This is going to be a live reaction to everything in this th update right here. And first of all, we have Campaign Double and Gate Keys and Gold. Gate Keys and Gold from Duels are doubled. Duel Wars have been sent in the support of the campaign. Please claim it in your gift box. Oh boy. Let's get into this. Oh snap, Paradox Brothers in here. Let's see the loading. Oh wait, I don't think game audio is on. Okay, you should be able to hear game audio now. I'm recording this through my uh, PC just because, um, usually I do it through my phone, but for whatever reason, the update wasn't downloading on my phone, but once I gave it a shot on my computer, it just downloaded the update right away, so I was like, cool. So yeah, if it, so this video might sound a little bit different than normal since I'm recording through PC, but it sh hopefully it should be good nonetheless. Special area, Duelist Chronicles, welcome to Battle City, has been unlocked. Aboard the ship in the center of the dual world, travel to Battle City. Okay, 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 so this thing is going to be a board game sort of event, I think. It's not going to be super duper different. What's this? New dual assessment um, category I, um, added. Summon Divine Monster. S successfully normal summon a Divine Monster at least one time in duel. Score? A thousand. Huh. Due to the addition of Winged Dragon Raw, we added this. Oh, I was hoping that there was other god cards, but hey, there's still a chance that there could be more god cards. Before we take a look into the actual event, let's go check some of the details on here. Duels Chronicles Battle City Again. The event to Duels Chronicles Battle City Begins has begun. In this event, you'll roll dice to advance through the map. Each zone has a legendary duelist from Battle City for you to duel. Complete the final duel zone in the first round to unlock Arcana. That is going to be awesome. I can't wait to unlock him, so hopefully we get some really good Dark Magician support. I would love to get that. Also, I'll finally have a chance to get the alternate um, Dark Magician arc, because he never dropped it for me, which was really annoying. Complete the final duel zone in the first round to unlock Arcana. So yeah, so this is the same as the previous event where you roll dice from, or you get dice from battling um, just any, like, the auto duelist guys or Vagabonds and stuff like that. You get dice for them. You roll them in this, like, little board game, and then you're able to just go through the anime, but in a board game style, in, style and Duel Links. Anyways, let's go check the details, see some spicy cards that we can get. Roll your dice to live Battle City, how to play, how to advance through the event, collect dice fragments in the beginning in Duel World and Rank. Duels collect dice fragments, roll dice between 1 through 3, move along the board, earning Millennium Coins, collect Millennium Coins to draw the lottery, earn zone rewards in each zone you complete, completing the Domino per zone the first time will unlock Arcana. What else we got? A hint, effect spaces. Okay, yeah, these are pretty much the same as the previous time this first happened, so I'm not going to go through all of them. But if you want to, you can pause it and read for yourself. Or you can, you know, just play Duel Links itself. But yeah, these are all the same from the previous time this event has been here, but in the Set Sail of the Kingdom style. Um, same thing right here. Millennium Coins is just a way to get new cards for this. Next up, we have the first round Domino Tier Zone. Okay, that card looks cool, and I do not know what that is, but that thing looks cool. First round Domino Tier Zone Lock Arcana Duelist who learns magician like skills such as Show of Nightmares, which lets randomly add a spell card from a graveyard to your hand, and Master of Magicians that lets you add a spell card to support Dark Magician from your hand outside the deck. That's going to be awesome. I wonder what Dark Magician support that he's going to get outside of his hand. Is it stuff that's already in Duel Links, like Thousand Nice or Dark Magician? I'm gonna chat attack or they're gonna add some even more crazy ones that'd be really nice to see next up we have okay we got a lot of stuff to check out fourth round domino pier zone uh, monster card that turns equip spell card that weakens a monster when sent to the graveyard even if it's sent to the graveyard as an equip spell card it can activate its effect again as long as there's a monster on the field let's go take a look at archfiend of glyfer glyfer it's a six star dark fiend with the effect when this card is sent from the grave sent to the graveyard you can target one monster on the field clip that target to this card that card loses monster loses five hundred attack while through this card okay so once you pop this off it's going to keep bouncing so even if this gets sent to the grave from your opponent you just can do it again onto one of your opponent's monsters now the downside is is that if your opponent has no more monsters and you still have a monster you're gonna have to equip this to one of your monsters it seems like oh no it says you can it says you can so you don't have to if you don't want to cool Next up, we have Legend uh, You Are, Panther Warrior. Four star Earth Beast Warrior with effect. This card cannot declare an attack unless you tribute a monster. Now, that sounds really good on paper, but I, I'm not, I'm honestly not that good at this game whatsoever, so I don't know what combos can pop in my head immediately. But I mean, there's, there's a lot of different cards that need to be sent to the grave some way, shape, or form. So, tributing off a monster like that to attack with a 2000 beat stick is not too bad. There might be some spicy combos, is the reason why it's a UR. Next up, we have the Mask of the Beast. You can virtually listen to the card with the Curse of the Mask Beast. So, this is an 8 star 3200 vanilla, uh, just normal fiend ritual, nothing too crazy right there. 
We, this uh, card was in the previous set, Sail to the Kingdom event, so we're not going to take a read at that. But I don't think Little Warrior was in the game yet. Um, little, or no, not Little Warrior. Little Vanguard is a win, four-star warrior with the effect once per turn during end phase. You can change the battle position of this card. Nothing too bad. Okay, this is cool. So we can get from the card lot lottery more Mala Velos. I feel like with three copies of this card, if you, people are able to get it, there can be some tilty decks with it. Cobwood with Horn of the Unicorn. I would like to make a deck on that just because why not? Then again, I'm not that good at building decks. We'll see, though. Next up, we have Hannibal Necromancer. This card's new. Four-star dark. Uh, spellcaster with the effect of this card's normal summon. Place one spell counter on it. Max of one. You can remove one spell from this card and then target one face of spell and trap and field destroy the target. Eh, if it was face down, it would be nice, but it has to be face up. That's nothing too crazy. Next up, we have precious cards from the beyond. This is already in the game. You guys can take a read of that real quick if you want to. And then Horn of the Unicorn, already in the game, but it just gives your monsters uh, 5, 700, tank of defense. But yeah, sounds um, this card's a card lottery thing now. We can get three copies of that, which is really cool right there. That should be it on here. Let's go take a look at the Dual Disc Cup Cup. Nice. Okay, so this is going to be kind of it. Oh, dang. What's up, tour guide of the underworld? You're invited to Duelist Chronicles. Welcome to the Battle City. As I relive the fiercest clashes between great duelists for this trip, journey with me too. Soto Kaiba, premier duel monsters tournament, Battle City. It all begins with a mysterious visitor from Egypt invites Soto Kaiba to the private ex expedition. There you go. Hey, she thick. Kaiba, behold the origin of duel monsters. The carvings on this tablet look like duel monsters cards. You must have heard the Rare Hunters, a ruthless underground sect of elite duelists. The Robin Steel Rare Cards, and desire the rarest of all, the Three Egyptian God Cards. I'll let you borrow this card to add you in your fight. Obelisk the Tormentor and Duel Links, aw oh, snap. This is one of the Three Egyptian Gods, Obelisk the Tormentor. Yo, are we going to be seeing Obelisk the Tormentor and Slight for the Sky Dragon in this event? Bro. And when Yugi sees his tablet... The ancient pharaoh from a thousand years ago. He looks just like me. I've been expecting you, my pharaoh. You'll face a foe like unlike many any before, the one with the seventh and last millennium item. This battle will be the keynote unlocking your lost memories. Noni? The top duelist will compete. My Valentine. In legendary battles, Esparopa is back. To extra names in history, Mako. Got your boy Mako? Listen up, duelists. You are no longer dueling in Domino. You're dueling in Battle City. In this event, you roll dice to move to new areas. Gather dice fragments in Duel World to roll more dice. Travel across the map throughout Battle City. Daily bonus, 15 dice. So yeah, here's just a quick little thing that we're going to do. Actually, let me change my deck. I'm going to go to my uh, Red Eyes deck. Just in case if we have to do any battles. Just to make things easy. So yeah, let's just do a quick little look on this for anybody that's unfamiliar with this uh, type of event. But when you so every day if you log in, you get 15 dice. And now you roll 7 of your dice fragments when you roll the dice. When you do that... We got a two. Now I think, okay, it will skip over this. So basically what happens is that we're going to be fighting this point right here. It says stop. Found ya, freak. I want my rare card back. Let's duel for it. That's cool. I have two different buttons right here to make uh, the things go by fast. Why would I duel you? You no longer have anything I want. Sorry about that. Joey. Yugi, be careful. That's one of the goons that swiped my red eyes. He must be a rare hunter. His group will do anything to get their hands on a rare card. That's simply unforgivable. Every card represents the heart of the duelist, and you take them as they mean nothing. Oh, sounds like you want him to make me pay. Why don't you duel me? You, you don't do it! You can't trust a cheetah. Step aside, Joey. I'll get your card back. We're at it. So, after going through the dialogue, you get to choose level 20 and level 40. I recommend doing level 40, because once you win, you'll get the most millennium coins to do the card lottery. Haha, <laughs> I'll take a rarest card, too. Okay, so I think Illegal Zodiac deck. I think, okay, this is a level 40 version of it, but I think we can, um, what deck? Do I have any, like, somewhat decent decks on Yugi? What is this one? I think it's a farm deck. Um, um, I think this one could work. Well, it's a farm deck. It's just some random farm. I don't even think that one was good either. All my decks are Gabo. 
This one, yeah, this one's just a try phase. This one's what I was just trying to do. I wanted two copies of Ancient Roll to get uh, Dark Magician out. I don't have enough support for it. I guess I can try this Dark Magician deck and see what happens. Because uh, I just want to win with Yugi, so you do. Because once you're battling um, these get duelists or whatever, if you do battle them with certain characters or certain cards, you do gain bonus Millennium Coins, which I want to show you guys. So yeah, let's go into this event duel. So yeah, if you guys don't want to skip this, or if you guys want to skip this, you can just click the second uh, button right there. Bada bang, there you go. Uh, we're most likely to lose because I don't have any good deck for you. Yeah, I probably should have copy and pasted my uh, red eyes, red eyes build from Kaiba to here. Even though I don't have the skill beat down, I can still do some decent stuff with it. Let's get going on this though. Rare Hunter. So this is going to be the legal Exodia deck at level 40, so I'm not going to be surprised if he just top decks all pieces of Exodia. Wouldn't be surprised. Power Dank. Power Dank. Double Power Dank. Oh, oh man, look at this hand. I, I built good decks. Ah, Jesus. Oh, that's a, that's, a, that's a sick meme, my lad. That's a sick meme, my lad. Okay, those are both magic no these are fiends i told you guys i was gonna lose i'm bad at card games and i can't build good decks yep yep this deck is garbage because like uh, a long time ago i wanted to um what is it i was just trying i wanted to go against my friend with the dark magician decks so he played one and we we're just kind of goofing around but this one's not built properly whatsoever let's see i can't go again so we're gonna go do that let me just copy and paste uh a red eyes build. That's like my only consistent deck I have. I'm gonna just go try it again. I was hoping I wouldn't break for that deck bad. Yeah, I need because like I want copies of stuff like Sage's Stone and all that stuff from Taya to build a uh, Dark Magician properly, and two copies of Ancient Rules so I can uh, get to Dark Magician out quickly. I only got one copy of Ancient Rules, so I still need to level up Mokuba to get us the second one. We're gonna copy this red eyes zombie build though. Give it to Yugi. So hoping that you know he was playing Power of Dark, so it's hoping he would play you know a good old spellcaster. That did not happen. And my game's lagging. Duel Links is not responding. Oh no! Save deck. There we go. Draw sense low level. I mean, it could still work. Yeah, I'll just keep using draw sense low level. It still works. Okay. And before this deck bricks also. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I should be using it. Just going to make sure. Am I using that as my active deck? Yes, I am. Okie dokie. Let's take another L. Let's waste some more dice for the video. But yeah, I think you guys get the gist of this. Yeah, you just go through this, you get to choose what level you want to go against. You can auto-duel them too, which is really nice. So after you complete, um, after you complete this at least one time, you can just auto-duel for everybody. Personally, uh, when I go through these events, I like to do it non-auto-duel first just to enjoy the whole experience. Because, I mean, like, some people just like to just go through it immediately. Uh, and I find it, I just find it more fun just to go through it, kind of just take my time with it. But some people just really just want to get this over, done and over with. Uh, and eh, two insights, at least we didn't draw two, uh, what's it called? At least we didn't draw the two, uh, spirit in hand along with insight, that would suck. We did get Sam Skull in our hand though, so we would have been fine. I love it, dude, this Red Eyes deck I love so much. I think people classify Red Eyes as tier two. I do want to make another Red Eyes zombie deck video though, along with Zombie World. I was thinking with my Red Eyes build, I wanted to attempt to do like a 25 card deck build just because um, I've been seeing a lot of people play, what's it called? I've been seeing a ton of people play Mill in the ladder, so that's why I wanted to make it 25 card for whatever reason. I think I might try it off screen, see how well it performs for me, see if extra cards in the deck will make it decent or not. Good thing I attacked with my strongest boy. Should be good though. This red eyes zombie deck is spicy. Don't need no Beto down. Get out of here with your new cards. But yeah, that's the gist of it. Once you beat the rare hunter, you'll get millennium coins and we can go to the card lottery real quick and see if we can get anything good. 
Or to stop him, in order for him to win this duel, he must attack me, so why isn't he? Ha ha ha. Aha, I'm on to you. I know what your strategy is, Rare Hunter. Oh, really now? You're playing to summon Exodia, the Forbidden One. Oh, <gasps> Nani? With one turn left, you just figured, just because he figured out my strategy doesn't mean he can't stop me. I set a card, and my turn. Ha <laughs> ha, I win. It's my turn, I. Hold it right there, activate my track card before your draw phase. Conscription. Nani? What? You stole Exodia's right arm? And by summoning the right arm to my field, my other trap activates. Chain disappearance! With banishing this monster, all copies of this card are also banished from your deck. Exodia is no more. Damn. Calm down, dog. You found a way to stop the unstoppable Exodia. Damn, that's actually really... Oh, sorry about that. I'm playing with a mechanical pencil in my hand, but that's actually really cool looking. Thank you. Thank you. So now that we got some Millennium Coins, we can go to the card lottery and check that out. So as you can see, here's all the rewards you can get from here. You can get the Panther Warrior, the Malahelo, Hannibal Necromancer, the Mask of the Beast, Gilfred the Goli Archfiend the Glypher, Karibo, or the Unicorn, Precious Cards from Beyond, Tem Mill of the Temporal Magician, Curse of the Mask of the Beast, Little Vanguard, Multiply, Detonate, Sword Stalka, Bone Temple Block, Swordsman of Landstar, Gadget Warrior, Virus Cannon, Worm Drake, Soggy the Dark Clown, and Mammoth Graveyard, and then all, all some other stuff. So we're gonna go take a draw five and see if we can get anything decent from this. Most likely not though, but hey, let's see. Yep, nothing good. Nothing good. All garbage. To be expected. Hey, my boy, Swordsman the Landstar. I actually have both of these cards. These, my friend, I guess this is off talking and this is making the video even longer than it needs to be, but uh, one of my friends had a bunch of duplicate Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and he he just like built me like a really trash deck just for me to have some Yu-Gi-Oh cards, because why not, because I, you know, needed a game or whatever, and he gave me Swordsman, Landstar, and Warm Drake, so I like these cards, because they're from my first really bad Yu-Gi-Oh deck. My first ever proper deck, though, was Gemini's, because I bought a structure deck for one of my birthdays, but that's going to be kind of it for today's uh, Duelings video. So, first of all, thank you guys for watching. If you guys watched the end of the video and you haven't liked the video already, be sure to smash the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelings content. I think what I will do is that after I get some rest, I'm going to go um, grind out all of these duelists real quick and just... I'm going to grind out all these um, duelists real quick, get a bunch of dice, and then I plan to do a live stream on this event, going through the event and all the good stuff, and hopefully unlocking Arcana for the rest of you guys. So if you're excited for that, be sure to subscribe to the channel also. But that's going to do it for today's Yu-Gi-Oh! Doings video. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.